Welcome back to Object First, box to back up in 15 minutes. My name is Matt Price, Manager of Enablement here at Object First. I'm joined with Anthony Cusimano, our Director of Technical Product Marketing. In the last episode, we wrapped up configuring the S3 keys and buckets in the web user interface. So what's next? We have to bring this into the Veeam ecosystem so that we can start writing our immutable backup data to it. So Anthony, we're here in the Veeam ecosystem, the Veeam Backup and Replication interface. How do we get started with this? Well, we're gonna have to set up our backup infrastructure Structure by configuring a backup repository. And fortunately for us, we're on Veeam version 12. So it's gonna actually lead us down the path to select the option for direct to object storage, which is what we wanna to utilize to maximize the ability to ingest data into Ootby. That's right. So Ootby has the ability to take advantage of the smart object storage API in V12. So you get much faster performance when you're backing up directly to our appliance. So essentially what we're doing here is not that different than setting up a typical repository in the Veeam ecosystem. We're simply going to give it a name. We're going to select the service point. Now, if you guys remember from the last video, this is where we left off on the dashboard of the Ootby interface. It actually gives you the service point that you can click quickly, click, copy, and then paste over into the Veeam uh, navigator here. So once you paste it in, it's gonna ask you for a region. Now, typically with object storage, this might be where the data center is located, but since Ootby is going to be on-prem, you can either leave that as the default or use your own descriptor here. But we do have to add credentials. And Anthony, is this where those S3 keys come back in? It is, keeping in line with our utilization of object storage. Remember in the last video, we created that S3 key. Now we're gonna to return to the web user interface and we're going to copy the access key as well as the secret access key, which we do have to type in a password for because this is like getting a separate username and password to access the storage. We've made it very easy. You just click to copy. It's gonna automatically put it in your clipboard and then you can paste it directly into those boxes. And we've tried to do this with every single step of the Ootby configuration into Veeam, making it very easy to grab the information you need and bring it over intuitively without any sort of frustration or confusion. And I do wanna mention, just because we are doing everything within typical S3 object protocol standards, the regions, the keys, all of this fits within traditional S3 operations. We've made sure that we are incredibly compliant when it comes to how we present our S3 storage to Veeam. So there is no confusion and there is no additional configuration required. Absolutely. And if you guys remember on the last step, we also created buckets. So this is where you're going to hit browse and you will see all those buckets that you created in the last step. You will need to also select a folder and you won't have any of these folders by default when you first add it into Veeam. So you'll simply click on new folder and you can type in whatever descriptor you want. You can have spaces in the names of these folders. So as you can see in this example, we're just gonna put in 30 day immutable just to indicate that everything that lives in this folder is completely bulletproof and ransomware proof for 30 full days. And once you select the folder, you just continue on with this wizard process. And if you just hit next here, what's gonna happen, Anthony, if you if you miss these check boxes? Well, if you don't check the immutability window box, it is going to stop you from proceeding. And Matt, I love the way you've put this in the past. This is a guardrail. This is a way that we're able to take advantage of that immutability that we enabled in the previous, or that came enabled by default in the previous video. Veeam is gonna force us to select an immutability window for our backups that we write to Ootby. Yep. So once we click OK, we then have to set a time window that all data, all objects that end up on our box remain immutable for. Yeah, and what's nice about this is when you talk about the integration and the intelligence that we've built, Veeam is aware that that bucket that we're backing up to has been marked with versioning. So like Anthony said earlier in the previous video, if we did create a bucket, let's say, and we didn't enable versioning, you wouldn't get that error message because that bucket has not been marked immutable. So that intelligence there exists between the two. Now, one other thing I wanna point out on this screen is back to our performance of our box. So with Veeam, you have instant recovery as a capability where you can actually run failed workloads directly from your backups in a matter of minutes. 
Ootby powers that with your Veeam ecosystem. So right here in the mount server location, this is where you can specify a target for your vPower cache. So make sure you don't just skip through this and focus a little bit on where you want those temporary writes to go. And then once you've indicated that, you're done with this wizard and you're ready to add this into Veeam. So it's really just a few steps to add Oopi into the Veeam ecosystem. And then you're ready to start creating your immutable backups. I also wanna add at any point, if copying and pasting doesn't work, or if you run into any trouble along the way, Object First Support Team is always standing by to help make sure that this configuration runs as smoothly for you as it did for us. So do reach out to them if you have anything uh, unusual that falls outside of what you're seeing here in the video. Absolutely. So guys, thanks so much for stopping by for this episode where we brought Oopy into the Veeam ecosystem. Be sure to check out the next video where we actually show you how to create your first backup job targeting Oopy. So make sure that that mission critical data that you've got is absolutely protected from any ransomware threats. So thanks again. Be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you hadn't already, and we'll see you guys on the next episode.